tomorrow already set for some of our extreme northwestern counties. That includes Republic Cloud and Ottawa County from 5 in the morning through 7 in the evening. But right now, the other side, the eastern counties, are still under a tornado watch. However, this no longer includes Lyon, Wabunsee, Shawnee, or Jackson County. And even no severe thunderstorm warnings left on our side. It's actually over into Kansas City now with that warning set to expire at 645. Now, here's a look at some of the storms that did erupt and brought 60 mile per hour wind gusts and even some reports of quarter sized hail. But they continue to quickly race off to the north and northeast and losing a little bit of their luster. If you have to travel on I 35 coming up, that's really where these storms are centered over as they push through. So be mindful of that. You could run into some pockets of heavy rain as well as maybe some hail still embedded in this. But notice off to the west, it's quiet in Manhattan and Junction City as dry air has socked in there. And that will really prevent any additional storms to fire up and push through. So the storm chances are dwindling, and then comes our chance of some of this winter weather. You can see the snow wrapping around eastern Colorado, spilling into northwestern Kansas now. It will take some time, but it will be knocking on our doorstep for your weekend. Again, for the remainder of tonight, though, the snow chances will dwindle and taper off and will be quiet during the overnight hours. Now, tomorrow morning, while it's still warm enough, we could get some scattered spotty showers. But notice that snow's already starting to curtail into some of our extreme northwestern areas by 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Temperatures will really start to take a hit as that colder air filters in. And especially as we get past the peak of the day, this will shift to be more so of just an all snow chance hit or miss. Now, overall, a dusting to an inch is fair game, especially along I 70 and to the north. Some of our southern areas could still see some of the snowflakes fly. Just maybe not quite as likely to see accumulate. Now, those under that winter weather advisory could see closer to two inches of snow by the time this wraps up. And really, the snow chance altogether does not taper off until the late evening on Saturday into the overnight hours, spilling over into your Sunday. But no snow to be seen. In fact, Manhattan really lucked out, didn't see much of those storms either, even though the sky's still a bit on the gray side. And here in Topeka, we also lucked out. The storm split to the north and to the south. We did not see any. Anything other than some Mattis clouds over downtown earlier. And without that lack of rain, it's been warm. It's 77 degrees right now, and we managed a high of 83. But you will notice some of that cooler air already filtering into our northwestern areas. It's 64 in Junction City, down to 50 in Concordia, but across the board, still breezy. However, you'll notice these south winds start to run into these west winds. These winds will start to shift throughout the course of the night tonight. But stay breezy at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. During the day on Saturday, they ramp up. We're looking at 15 to 30 mile per hour sustained winds, and that spills over into your Sunday. Notice the direction, though. That's a cool northwest wind, and that will play a key factor in how cold it will feel. Even heading out the door tomorrow morning, wind chills. Back in the 20s and 30s, not nearly as mild anymore to start off your day. And as we get closer to sunset tomorrow, it'll start to feel like the teens, and it will be a Bitterly cold start to your Sunday. We're talking wind chills and spots in the single digits once again. A look at your seven day forecast shows again, high temperatures in the 40s will not feel that way for this weekend. Wind chills during the day, 20s and 30s, even teens at times, before we gradually start to warm things up 